You know, I was born and raised in Taipei Laguna. I studied fine arts at the University of Santo Tomas, and uh, then after uh, after uh, my schooling, I became uh, the, as a graphic artist. So still, I want to to, to uh, I want to be a comics illustrator. <laughs> that, that's that's still in my mind. You know, at the time I had a uh, double life. I I, I went to. Uh, I went to an office in a publication that, uh, and at night I I do my paintings. I mean, the Philippine Art Association normally has a contest for, for nationwide. So I I, I joined the contest, and, but fortunately I won uh, 72 in 1973. And it became my passport to the world for traveling. So I was really, I became exposed to, 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 to art. So since then, since the seventies, uh, I keep on moving around like a like an ordinary gypsy arm with the colors, canvas, and uh, whatever. So I was so lucky when I applied to be an artist in residence in Switzerland, and uh, they granted me to stay for three months. In my, these are the fruits of my labor when I was in in Switzerland. Yeah, so. I'm like a kite that flying high and so the perspective of the world, but still my string is in my small town by the or Philippines. So whatever I I, uh, I share it to, to my art, I share it to other institutions like uh, UNICEF. I mean, UNICEF became also my passport to the world. So one day it introduced me abroad as a UNICEF artist. No, you, you know, I mean, uh, I still believe that art is very universal. Not necessarily you're a Filipino or you're a foreigner. As long as you uh, you connect, because for me, art is really communication. You know. Well, uh, maybe because I travel by air, water, and land. The patterns, first the patterns of the land, then when you go down, uh, you, you, you see the landscapes. You want to study the, the history of the land. You want to, to, to talk about your subject, of course. I, I mean, I, I'm really, I, I'm not really uh, an outdoor artist or outdoor painter. I'm a studio artist. But uh, I read a lot of things or books, or not only art books. And based on landscapes, uh, that's... Uh, for me, it's the perspective. So even colors and everything, uh, I, I really... Yeah, my interest is in the landscape. Well, I'm, I'm so proud and very honored to, to have an exhibition like this uh, in, in ta on time of the commemoration of the 150th diplomatic relations with the uh, Philippines and Switzerland. So, well, it's nice to have this kind of works. In fact, I don't know that I have this kind of works in my studio because I just paint and keep it, even if when I was in Switzerland. But when it frame and it will ha and it hung like this, I mean, I told myself that oh, I feel so nervous because <laughs> my art is uh, different already based on the paintings that just keep in my in my uh, drawers or or. or in my in my studio, so uh, well, I'm, I'm so so glad, and I'm so fortunate also that uh, that, that uh, of course Ayala Museum supports me, the Swiss Embassy supports me, and also UBS to have this kind of uh, I I consider this one of my major or the, my um, one of my best uh, exhibition so far. Well, I'm inviting everybody to visit Ayala Museum to, to see my works. All I have to do is, all you have to do is, uh, yeah, uh, open your eyes, open your senses, and, and well, welcome to Switzerland. <laughs>